basically we figured out what the pharmacy people actually needed, uh, what their goal end goal was, and then from there we started breaking it down into different parts. Obviously we needed the models, so the physical clean room parts, and then we needed um, the textures, so what was actually going to be on, uh, say the vials, uh, the syringes, the IV bags. So what we had to do was really collaborate with the pharmacy people, get a whole bunch of pictures from them, um, and compile it all together so we could get all the information we needed. And then one thing that really helped us, we actually went down to the IUPUI Med Center down in, in Indianapolis and were able to take a whole bunch of pictures. So that was, able, that was really able uh, to allow us to get a lot of stuff done. Well, for the three of us, we had never actually done a project of this magnitude. Uh, so we really had to start from the very beginning and then work our way up. And uh, the whole process itself was very difficult, very challenging, and very new to us. Um, and then some of the very technical difficulties we had, we actually had to take our models, so the actual clean room, the syringes, and all of those, uh, from our 3D program, we used Maya, and then figure out a workflow to get that into our virtual 3D environment.